Three men accused in the K Street mass shooting in 2022 were back in court today for a preliminary hearing. Six people were shot, you'll remember, and killed, and a dozen others hurt in a brazen gun battle. Authorities say was gang related. This day of three of the preliminary hearing, and court officials say another three days will be needed to sort through the hundreds of pieces of evidence presented in this case. Dandre and Smiley Martin and Matula Payton are accused in three of the six killings that happened when gunfire erupted outside a downtown Sacramento nightclub. Today, ballistics experts testified a judge will decide whether there's enough evidence for them to stand trial on murder charges. Now, today, April 3rd, is the two year anniversary of that brazen, bullshit ass, gang banging ass, couldn't find ass shooting that left six dead and about 22 others shot. Now, if you were completely oblivious to this situation that happened, basically, it was a bunch of coons that were hanging out downtown Sacramento, you know, party going. And two sides that were beefing with each other, they ended up in the same area and a big, huge ass fucking shootout ensued. And about 20 plus people got shot and six, maybe seven or eight, but I'd say six people got killed. Now, these are the six victims that passed and the DA are only considering three, which are the women. Three of these six victims, actual victims, because the other three, which are the males, are coons that participated in the shooting. Now, it was so much motherfucking chaos and carnage and hail of gunfire that a homeless lady that was up the street, sleeping in her sleeping bag, minding her fucking business, got shot and killed from that goddamn coonery. Now, some time went by, and I waited to see who would get caught, who would turn themselves in, Etc. Etc. And out of all those motherfuckers shooting, they only have three people in custody for that goddamn mass murder shooting bullshit. And guys, you know how I always say CML side, Mathy side, and all this shit. But all three of these motherfuckers are all Crips from the same hood. It's just Matula Payton. He's with the Star members and the Gas members. Well, these three idiots started trial recently, and all three have pled not guilty. And in one situation. The courts have called O'Shea White to court to come and testify against DeAndre Martin and Smiley Martin. Now, court documents make Mr. O'Shea appear to be a square, but he apparently is sticking to the street code because he is not coming to court, he's not snitching, he's not saying shit, and they took his black ass to the Gulag gang for contempt of court. Next up, who also got subpoenaed is Mr. Ike Harris, and that is Sergio Harris's cousin, and Sergio Harris passed away that night. And unlike Mr. O'Shea White, Ike Harris appeared in court. Now, all his ass did was go up there and play stupid as fuck. He got cross-examined, and he stuck to his guns. And, you know, he was deemed as a non-credible witness. All participants in that gun battle are responsible for the death of those innocent bystanders. It's a lot of things that we don't know about this case. But it's also a lot of things that we do know. And one thing's for sure is that this situation is sad as fuck. And two, is that this shit is gang-related as the fuck. And these three idiots can plead not guilty all they want. But it's not the fact of the matter of if they will get life. It's how they will get life. You know, will they get life without parole? Will they get 30 to life? 25 to life? 105 to life? Y'all got caught in 4K shooting at a club crowd. And 20-something motherfuckers got hit and six died. Y'all are fucked.